Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha, and for today's video, we're gonna be unboxing my Boxycharm October base box. So this was gifted to me by Boxycharm to sell. So thank you guys as always. So I have to say that I did unbox these my PR boxes like a few days ago because I couldn't like wait to, until I to record this because there was like a lack of spoilers last month. So I opened it and. I'm so freaking happy you guys. I'm so freaking happy with the base box so much. And I did weigh the boxes too. So I'm going to mention the weight when I mention the operation number. So for this month's theme, it's actually a really, really cute theme. I love this theme so much So, So this month's theme is actually Spellbound. So it's very cute. So it's witch vibes, you know, for Halloween. Very, very, very cute. So the variation to this box is variation number three. And whatever the weight, I'll just leave it right here. So let's start with this item because I really, really want to you know swatch this so this is by the ace beauty and it's a falling for you palette and it's actually a new limited edition by them too so there's a packaging and also this is worth 34.99 dollars so it's a new launch and it's a limited edition from what i've seen on ace beauty um instagram account so when they posted a picture of this palette i'm like oh, like they posted it right when it was like the first I think I thought the palette looks so beautiful now I was hoping I'll get it in my box of charm base box so for this month I'm only getting my box of charm paid box I canceled my premium because um I feel like I feel like it would just it would just wasn't worth keeping premium for this month but maybe for next month I'll get premium again but you guys this palette is so so pretty look at that the palette is beautiful and yes i actually don't really care but there, when i first opened it there is like a nail mark right here and then like a little poke right there so that's how it came and as long as it doesn't look like finger swatch i'm like okay that's fine with me like i don't really care honestly unless it's like like really swatched or it looks like it's used and but this palette is so pretty it's such freaking fall vibes you guys can already tell like i i'm gonna love this palette i love fall colors and just this color story is so beautiful so of course i'm gonna swatch it so these are the swatches and they're so so pretty i love the color story like look at that it's so freaking pretty so it's like pinky oranges and then not so many darks probably the only darkest is that dark brown which i don't mind and also the plum color but i think the plum this is actually not black it's actually more like a it's like a dark plum color and yeah, with the thing with Ace Beauty formulas, they're very pigmented, but there is fallout to their formula, so make sure to tap out the S's. Really loving this color story, like it's so freaking pretty. So if this is on add-ons, like if you don't get it in your box, then I would recommend this getting this in add-ons. That's only if it's on add-ons. I can't wait to play with this palette. I'll probably play with this next time. So the next item right here is by Tris Luce Beauty, and it's a uh, like an artista brush and it's worth $27. So I took off the packaging off the brushes and when I seen these brushes when I open them these are really really nice quality like oh my gosh I just dropped my box of with everything. These brushes they're really nice quality like I swear it feels so nice it feels like a smooth kind of like it feels smooth almost not super slippery like but they feel very smooth and the bristles they feel so s soft not super soft but just soft this one's like probably the most densest out of all the brushes this one's just a little bit fluffier this one's a like an angled brush yeah yeah they, they feel kind of dense so they're not like super soft brushes but they're but just to handle these, they almost feel slippery like. So if you have like butter fingers, then they might slip off of your fingers. But they look really, really nice. And another thing too, guys, for Chazoo's Beauty, there's actually going to be a few more products future this month's BoxyCharm base box. So there's going to be a palette with some lashes and another palette with uh, some other lashes. So those are like like possible like items that you can get in your box. Okay, so now the next product right here, I'm actually really happy that I got this because... I wanted to pick this, but I picked something else for my paid box. So I'm glad I take, picked this out for me, I guess. So this is actually the Tarte, and it's the C Wink of HTO. And this is worth mm, $35. Right here's the packaging. And, you know, it's a good size, I will say, for eye cream. You know, you don't really need that much. And this eye cream, it says it's a vegan skin-loving eye cream that reduces the appearance of dark. The appearance of puffiness and dark circles for a refreshed, youthful 
look and it's weightless water-based formula gives a lifted effect and a clinically proven to deliver 24 hydration it helps firm and light sense of aging with hydroflex technology and creates increased resistant base so i read that it's really good for under makeup too so i can't wait to test that out and let's see the consistency so i haven't seen the consistency in person because it's completely sealed you know i wanted to save my first impressions with you guys so it's like a white eye cream almost Let's see how it feels. Ooh, wow, that feels very creamy, but whippy at the same time. So I got a little bit. Ooh, yeah, it feels really nice. Very lightweight. Like it doesn't feel so heavy. Very lightweight. I think it adds a little bit to like shine, huh? There's not like a real scent to it. It smells just like a clean, like no scent at all, actually. So that's really good. So I can't wait to test this out. So I took this out of the packaging because I needed to rip it out because I was taking pictures earlier. So this is uh, by The Peel and it's an adhesive liquid liner in the shade Jet Black. And this is worth $29. Oh, <laughs> dude. Um, so that's a little overpriced for me. But it's a adhesive liquid liner. So this is the newest and most innovative way to apply your fox lashes. Step aside tubes of glue. This ultra fine liner is easy to apply in a hot way to spice up an eye look. So I'm not sure how it is. So you can put lashes. So it's like a felt tip. So this is the way it looks. So I never used a product like this before. And it's really great to pair it with this last item right here with this adhesive liquid liner. <laughs> so this is by the Camaro and Anique Beauty and it's the Mary Lashes. And these are worth $25. This is how the lashes look like. So they look very nice. Um, I wouldn't say they're completely natural. They look like they have like very some volume to it. But let's test these out actually. Yeah, let's pull out these lashes. See how the adhesive works. Their line right here. It's so weird. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is the way you do it. I'm not sure if it's working or it's just the glue from the lashes. I'm going to try to show you guys because I don't have contacts on. So right here, how the lashes look right now. So that's with the natural glue attached to the packaging. And I put some of the adhesive liner. And I was really surprised. I was very skeptical that it won't work. Um, it's not as strong as the glue. So maybe this will help for beginners. See, it's already sticking. So I need to reapply the liner. Okay, so we're gonna try again. I needed to put more on the inner corner. So we're, we're gonna try again. So I didn't put glue. Like, look at that, it's sticking, kind of. Like, oh my gosh. But the only thing um, with this this adhesive liner, it's not as strong as glue, so maybe it'll be good for beginners. But I'm not wearing contacts on right now, so I don't know how I look in front of the camera. But these lashes, they actually look really, really pretty. Okay, so it's kind of hard wearing your lashes with glasses on. Hey, but it doesn't look that bad, so I think I'm gonna just keep them on. Okay, so that's everything we see in my box of charm PR box. So it is possible to get a PR variation because whenever I post pictures. Or I used to do variation posts, but now I don't have time to do them anymore. But when I posted the, when I post my pictures online, people say, "Oh, this was my box." I'm like, "Oh, that's good." And overall, you guys, this variation, I'm so so happy. The only thing I wasn't like so excited about was this adhesive liner because I was very skeptical about it. Like I heard about it through a spoiler, but I didn't like. You know, I didn't think it was real and it really works, but it's just not as strong as glue. So I guess when you're on like on the go, like you need something like quick to do quick lashes and you could do a liner real quick and just pop on the lash and I just can't believe it works. So I was very skeptical about it. And this palette is so, so beautiful. I can't wait to make looks with this. And the brushes are very, very pretty, like the good quality and the color and this eye cream. Anything tart is always good and i went ahead and added the value so this is a 25 dollar box and plus tax is like 27 so the value for this box is 150.99 so that's really 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 good and 
I'm not complaining about this variation at all. It's a great variation. Like, yeah, I was skeptical about the adhesive liner, but after testing it out with you guys, oh my gosh, I think I'm hooked. But yeah, guys, so that's about it. So if you guys are wondering what I get in my box charm premium PR version, then that video will go up next and yeah i can't wait for my paid box my boxycharm base box so if you guys are interested in my unboxing then make sure to subscribe to my channel and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye guys